Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss a short trick to remember trigonometric table. So we will discuss our trigonometric ratios up to ninety degree. So at first, we will discuss the basic ratios: sine theta and cos theta, tan theta. These are the three basic ratios. With the help of these three ratios, we can write the remaining three ratios. Actually, we have six trigonometric ratios. Knowing the table value of these three is enough to calculate the remaining ratios. Okay, so we will calculate these measures. Now, I'll write the tables. Here it is ratio, and we will consider zero degree. Then the next value is thirty degree, forty five degree, sixty degree. And finally, ninety degree. Okay, so I am writing all this. So now, zero degree. Here you can we we are replacing zero by four. To know sine zero degree value, I am just writing zero by four. And the next number is one by four. And the next one is two by four. And here it is three by four, and finally four by four, and then we are taking square root for all these numbers. Now, zero by four, zero divided by four, zero divided by any non-zero number is zero again. So square root of zero will be zero. So sine zero degree is zero. Then square root of one by four. So square root of one by four can be written like this. Now one by actually we will get plus or minus two, but we will these values will be in the first quadrant. So the in the first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive. So square root of four is two. So you must take the square root of four as two. So sine thirty degree is one by two. And then we have square root of one by two by four. So two by four can be written as one by two. Yes. So we are writing one by root two. Again, square root of one will be, one will be one, not minus one, because these values are in the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, all positive, all ratios are positive. So we will write one by root two. Now. Then what do we have? Square root of three by square root of four. So square root of four value is two. So root three by two. Then finally we have four by four, which is nothing but one. Square root of one is one. So sine ninety degree is one. Sine sixty is root three by two. Sine forty five is one by root two. Sine thirty degree is one by two. Sine zero degree is zero. Now for cos ratio, we are just writing these sine ratios in reverse order. To get cos cos value, you have to write sine ratios in reverse order. So reverse order for ninety degree, we have one. So the cos zero will be one, and cos thirty degree will be root three by two. And cos forty five degree will be one by root two. Then cos sixty degree will be one by two. And sine nine uh, cos ninety degree will will be zero. Now we have written cos ratios. Now we know tan theta is a ratio of tan ratio is a ratio of sine and cos ratio. Now we will know tan. Zero. So tan zero degree equal to sine zero degree by cos zero degree. So cos zero degree, the sine zero degree is zero. Cos zero degree is one. So zero by one will be zero. And again one by two for tan thirty degree. Sine thirty degree by cos thirty degree. Sine thirty degree is One by two, cos thirty degrees root three by two. So one by two, 
this one can be written as 1 by 2 into root 3 and this 2 will go to numerator 2 2 gets cancelled so we will have 1 by root 3 now here when we divide these two 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2 we will have we will get 1 a number divided by the same non-zero number we will get quotient as 1 again here 1 by root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 2 2 gets cancelled so we will have root root 3 and here 1 by 0 1 by 0 is not defined so we will write non-definite now writing the inverse of a uh, multiplicative inverse of 0 actually 0 does not have multiplicative inverse okay writing the inverse values for of sine we will get cosecant for cos we will get secant and from tan we will get cotton. Thank you.